June marks the beginning of Pride Month for the LGBTQ community. Tonight, here in Columbus, this is what City Hall is expected to look like. All the colors, lighting. A virtual presentation of these colors happening at about 8.30 tonight in the addition of one of the largest Pride celebrations in the country. It too will be virtual. NBC4's Alan Henry joining us now live outside City Hall to explain why, Alan. Well, Brad Stillwall Columbus made the decision back in February to make Pride mostly virtual this year. And even if they wanted to reverse that decision now, it's unclear if the city would grant them the permits to do so. But organizers tell me that's okay. Pride is more about being yourself than it is about being together. Pride is really about being able to step out into the world to live as who you were always meant to be. Celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, Stonewall Columbus has grown dramatically. What started as a 200 person march in 1981 is now one of the largest events in the city. We are sad that we can't gather in person as we did with 800,000 people, um, but what we're working to do is still encourage uh, moments of engagement and opportunity uh, throughout the month in smaller venues. <laughs> One of the most pride-filled organizations is the Columbus Pride Bands, which has been without a venue to perform for most of the pandemic. We haven't really been able to get together to perform as a full organization um, until now. After rehearsing in smaller groups for months, the band got back together again three weeks ago to prepare for their virtual pride performance, hoping to lift the community with music. It's been very important for a lot of people to be able to uh, express ourselves as who we are and uh, sorry it's just so important these days it's just so important for the community to be together to support one another and with a virtual celebration this year the message of pride could be seen by even more people than usual what we're seeing is a uh, an understanding and acceptance of the LGBTQI community uh, across not only Central Ohio, uh, but the country, um, and understanding of changing hearts and minds uh, and acceptance, which I think is uh, what we want. Now, there are still several in-person Pride events happening all month long throughout Central Ohio, some of them even being announced just today. And of course, Stonewall is already planning and hoping for a full celebration and festival next year. Local for you, Alan Henry, NBC4. All the colors of the rainbow out there. Alan, thank you so much.